May I request both of you to just pose with your watches? Great. Can I just request Radhika to say a few words? Hi, good afternoon everybody. I'm very, very sorry for the delay. Uh, just uh, for this event. First of all, I want to tell you that how cool it felt to pose with the watch. <laughs> for the media, for the for, for, for I think it's, I've always been a very big fan of uh, the watch, uh, swatch, swatch watches. And I, I cannot believe that I was... I had the pleasure and the honor to come here and you know, get their first corporate uh, store. Thank you so much for, for giving me the opportunity. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I mean, I'm sure you know, but I just like found out a few things about these watches. And can I share that with them? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, this is their first corporate store. And because it's a corporate store, it has this amazing grandeur to it. It's so big, it's spacious, and it has excellent variety of it. And they're basically famous for providing so much variety, so many provocative designs and creative designs. Now this basically, uh, basically Swatch, it started in 83, but uh, the reason that, that they became so big was because they introduced plastic in their um, watches. And suddenly it became affordable for people to buy them. Now they are launching the System 51, which is automatic watches. And automatic watches are usually, they cost 50 to 60,000 rupees. But theirs starts from 12,500. So it's for everybody. So you can, anybody can have an automatic watch. And they're also launching the fall and winter collection, which is seasonal. So it's, and it's also very fabric based, and it starts at 2,600. So it's like a treat. And if you go to their store, it's, it's colorful. Thank you so much. Uh, can I request uh, Radhika to pose a bit more for the photographer? If the photographers have got their wit, can I just open the house for the media q &A? Any questions that anybody has? Okay, we have no questions, great. So we can have uh, the TV media step up one by one and uh, take their bites. Any questions for me? Possibly we can uh, 
go back to the store considering we have no good news.
It's, it's my wishful thinking. I hope they hear it too. Anything else? Uh, Radhika Prabhupada, may I ask? Radhika, you have been quite a successful in your career, but you know, a kind of controversy being created before release of the film or you yeah, know, yeah, a kind yeah. of bold role you accept. Is it necessary to become controversial or being bold or becoming a success like that? Uh, my friend, my friend, you're sorry but your question is very ridiculous. Controversies are made by people like you. You saw the clip, you shared it with other people, you are the, pe you are the person that controversies are made out of. I'm an artist, if I'm required to do a certain job, I will do it. If you get out of your cocoon and look at the world cinema and look at what people are doing abroad and what people are successfully doing and are not ashamed of their own bodies, you will probably not ask me this question. People who are ashamed of their own bodies have curiosities about other bodies. So if you want to see a naked body tomorrow, look at yourself in the mirror or yourself, rub down my clip and then we can talk about this. Is that clear? Every every question. Yeah, we have to talk about watches. I think if okay, I think if a Smith watch can come to the country and have their our first corporate store, I think a Pakistani yeah. actor should come here and do a film here in India. That's my statement. It has to be about watches. Radhika. I I just told you my first memory with watches was my dad's big watches. I didn't even know the names at that time. I was that small, but I used to wear his watches. Radhika. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Uh, watch is more seen as a man accessory, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people don't think watches as a gift for a woman. Right. So what do you think? Like how the whole trend will change and you know, uh, like how it's all evolving now. Like you know, there are so many uh, watches available and different styles and now with this one is coming up with an automatic style. Yeah. So what, like, do you think you will love a watch, uh, you know, instead of something else as a gift? I, I any day prefer a watch to uh, some jewelry, and you know, I think watches have, have yeah, you're right. I mean, men get watches, but also couples get watches. You have this woman and a man uh, watch. But what is really cool about this is very androgynous, and I think that's that's really the in thing right now. Uh, there is no. Like, you don't decipher between, oh, this, this is a man's trouser or woman's trouser. It's actually really cool to be androgynous. And I'm sure they have uh, watches for men and watches for women. But the kind of designs they have made, you can actually just put it together and create a really cool look. And the best thing is you can create a look based on the watch, not on the dress or not on something else. But the watch can be the highlight and go like, okay, I want to wear this watch today, so what do I wear accordingly? Can I have uh, the TV medias up, please? Vitra? These watches start from 12,500, which is a very, very affordable. And the fall winter collection is actually even starts from 2,600, so it's perfect. Right. Uh, how much are you are fond of uh, watches and... Uh... Uh, I'm more of a person with watches, when it comes to watches, that I like them to be gifted to me. So this suits me perfectly. Are you a brand for your watches? I am brand. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, I, I am brand conscious when it comes to certain things, so, yeah. Any any memory related to your watches? And, uh, just you mentioned that uh, your yeah, dad Yeah, as has... I mentioned you, uh, 
Instagram, I was very fond of men's watches all the time. And big dials. So my, I remember my first watch was a watch that was gifted to my father. It was a, a big dial, a big black dial and a silver golden woven design, like a very typical, a very classic uh, watch. And uh, so that is my first memory and this is my latest uh, and most colourful memory. I feel hurt. Sweetheart, you need to get over yourself. You will get over it. Uh, Radhika, what is happening in uh, professional front? Any upcoming project you want to share with us? Actually, I just finished shooting for two feature films. Uh, one is called Ghoul, which is a film by Phantom, made by Phantom, Ivanhoe and Blumhouse. It's a Hollywood and Phantom collaboration, so I play the female protagonist. Uh, and another film called Ashram, which is a Hollywood film. Um, and I've also finished a film called Bombayria, which will release this year. I have just finished the release of Parch, and it's my first break after three years. I totally deserve it. Radhika, I would like to ask a little question about this situation in India and Pakistan, which recently happened to Pakistan. So, what do you have to do with your views and what do you want to ban Pakistani actors or not? As your views? See, I'm not going to indulge in this question. I'm not going to indulge in this question. But all I feel is that what is happening is absolutely disastrous and extremely sad. There is nobody who is going to deny that. And it's beyond my comprehension because you're not there. Sympathize and talk about it, but people who are there are. I, 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 don't, I don't have words for that, but I don't think we should ban Pakistani actors, and I'm going to end it at that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. For more news and gossip, don't forget to subscribe to Bollywood Helpline.